Welcome to North Sydney Oval, the T20 International Series between Pakistan and Australia. It is a ground steeped in women's cricket history. Goes short, goes after it, up and over. That's the way to start the innings for Pakistan. Let's Megan Shoot have the stump. She tries to target it and Javira Khan is up to the task. Oh, yeah. Very difficult to try and keep a delivery with that pace and swing out as Perry, with just her second delivery in the match, gets the wicket of Maniba Ali. Oh, a little tickle, I think. Is this brilliance from Mooney? Eloise Sheridan has given it not out. And I think they'll go upstairs here. Definitely sounded like there was a noise there and, and Beth Mooney is, is certainly very convinced here that uh, that there's gotten something off the bat of Bismam. Catch that back! Goes airily. Doesn't quite get enough of it and into the hands of Perry. So that aggression has been the downfall. And as the third Pakistan wicket falls with 28 on the board. No, apologies, Megan Shoot. I've put the mozzer on you. Two wickets in the over, though. Got it. Perry having an easy day out at North Sydney Oval. She loves playing at this ground. She's got two wickets for just two runs. I'm looking forward to the challenge. Midge, it's Alex here. As we see, a nice boundary from Nita Dar clipped off her legs. The group. <laughs> yeah, I won't travel with the group um, to Hobart and Canberra, but um, just got the experience to come in today. <laughs> You've got past 50 Pakistan Catch, and uh, sweeping spin. nicely at the moment. It's a good shot against Jess Jonathan. Catch! Yes! Oh, <laughs> what a grab! Alana King! It's a specky at North Sydney Oval. That was travelling at some speed. Needed Dahl with all the force. Four overs every game. Loose. And we'll travel away to the boundary. She tries to go after this one. Aisha Nazim, the 18-year-old teen sensation. This is why everyone is so excited about her. Now Serge. Oh, timing from Aisha Nazim. <laughs> There was some flourish and swagger in that shot. More runs and more power and force. Aisha Nazim lighting it up at North Sydney Oval. Oh, down on one knee. Goes long, goes far. Yes, get out of your seats. Save yourselves, but then turn around and applaud. Yeah. Bold up. A little bit fuller. It was smart here from King. Took a little bit of extra pace off down to 73 kilometres an hour. Oh, it's got pace on it. Yeah. Gave up pretty early, did Elise Perry, knowing that, that was scooting across the surface. Catch Megan. There's a change of pace. And Meg Lanning with the dive forward. She's fresh. She's had a break away from the game. And she comes back in. This down for me is one of the best of all time. Too, really change there. of pace. And in the hand. Grace Harris takes the catch. Catch, Grace, catch! Toe of the bat, Grace Harris. Yeah. Wow. Rinse and repeat, she says. And it's five wickets for Megan Shoot. Down on one knee, swivels nicely and finds the boundary. Across the crease, hit in line and given off the last delivery of the 20 overs. Jess Jonathan helps to bowl out Pakistan. All out 118. They need 119 against Pakistan. Cuts hard through the field. Boundary line. Like that, but that one goes down. Didn't quite get the elevation she wanted. Yeah, that's through as well. This is the cut off the front foot. Good. There's a simplicity to her footwork that works so well. Pakistan might have been interested in that. And chopped on. She'd looked to be aggressive. She'd gone back-to-back -back deliveries. Follows it up with a fuller length delivery. Holds the shape of shot. Does Elise Perry. And that will trickle over the boundary line. She does. And Perry goes whack 
down to long on. It wasn't off the front foot, though. It was the horizontal blade. And I gives that a little bit more flight, and that's uh, gloriously not just timed, but it's more so the placement. That was one of them, was trying to expand her game. This time she goes through the offside in the air. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. Onto the stumps, looking to step laterally. Oh dear, poor fielding. How's your keeping, Erin? Pretty good at everything else. <laughs> Horrendous. Oh, she squeezed it through again, Perry. Oh my God! Inside edge, and it should race away. It does. Down to the final leg boundary for four. Turns it through, gets the space and gets it away for four. Elise Perry with her fourth four. Let's just get back to that first innings because Pakistan got out the blocks uh, pretty quickly and then you're able to punch back with the ball in hand. Mm -hmm. So we're just hoping that Moons is, is fit and can continue to be. But um, yeah, well, we've got a few little things up our sleeve. But um... Conversation with Shelley Nishki as Ash Gardner heaves that away to the leg side. She'll pick up a, a boundary here. These two going along nicely. Oh, the timing. You just knew straight off the bat it was going to be six. It's a frenzy in the deep. More runs. And it, this is such a stylish knock from Elise Perry. She's and with that, she goes to a seventh. No, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. That is a stunning catch. Oh no, it's down. Get it, get it. Into out, but into space. And another four. And they do eventually come back through. <laughs> I'm not sure what Gardner was looking at there, but Perry completes the run. And that's the game done for Australia. They win by eight wickets in convincing fashion. They start this T20 series off with a bang. And they continue their dominance over Pakistan. Yeah, 10 on the trot here at North Sydney Oval. They haven't played a T20 international here since pre-COVID times back in 2019, but they haven't forgotten that winning formula up against a Pakistan side, which I actually think showed a lot of, you know, promising signs for the rest of this series, but also the upcoming T20 World Cup in South Africa as well. And I think uh, Mark Coles, Bismar Maruf have, uh, have got a few things to work with there.